<laughs> okay, today is go today we're going to have a new topic which is very new to us. I mean, this is the first time that we're going to discuss this topic. So are you ready to learn? Okay, our topic is going to be Hello, the effects. Hello, okay. The effects of forces acting on objects. Okay. We're going to study about the forces. The forces. Okay. We're going to learn the push and pull things. Push, push and pull forces. Okay. So let's go and jump on it. Okay. Objects can move or stop moving when a force acts on them example kicking a football okay when you kick a football that is at rest when you kick a football that is not moving it will start moving to the direction Michelle, page. where page 76 so it will go to the direction where you kick it towards okay Pushing or pulling objects can change their motion. Page 79. Signs of force. 79. 79. Okay. Pushing or pulling objects can change their motion. Okay. Objects at rest can start moving. And moving objects can move faster slower change direction or stop moving with the force that we apply into an object okay it will change their motion or maybe the moving objects can do fat can move faster can move slower can change direction or can stop moving depending on what what force we apply and into what direction okay a force is a push or pull that can change the motion of an object, okay? The unit of force is newton, newton. Say it with me, kids. Say Newton. Okay, it is Newton. This is um, the, the unit of force that we use for... Uh, uh, the unit that we use for measuring the force. This is Newton. Okay, kids, the pull, the pull force is a force that makes an object move toward the person putting the force. Okay, when you try to pull something, that means that um, you're making it closer to you. For example, I am pushing my, I am pulling my laptop. It's going to be like this. Okay, I'm pulling it. So it's closer to me. Okay, I'm pushing it. Oh, so it's far it's farther from me okay that is push push and pull okay okay an example of the pull force is playing tag of war do you know this game do you know this game like do you know this do you know it earth Okay, it's pulling, right? Whoever, whoever is like, like stronger or has a good strategy will win. Okay, because when the when the Michelle other team, page. page seventy nine. Okay, when you play tag of war, you do you use the pull force. Pull, okay. Remember, pull for tag of war. Okay, next, pulling a card. Pulling a cart is also an example of pull force, okay? Because you are um, pulling the carts towards you. It's You're making the cart closer to you and then you walk, okay? So that the, the cart will move with you also. Next force is the push force. This push force push okay like that that's the push force a push force is a force that makes an object move away from the person putting the force 
away that means far okay or yeah far from you away from you like this i'm pushing my my myself from the laptop like this i'm pushing it this is me i'm pushing myself from the laptop it's gonna be like this okay this is push this is pull understand okay the first example of um, an activity that uses a push force is hitting a birdie do you play badminton who plays a bad who plays badminton okay when you play badminton and you hit the birdie or the shuttlecock you like this boom you push the the shuttlecock away from you so that is um that is a push force like this Ta-da! And sitting, chin, chin. That is a push force. Okay. The next example of of using push force is pushing a cart. Do you know what is a cart? Okay. When you go shopping, right? When you go shopping, you do like this. Ta -da -da. I'm going to show you a picture pushing so that you will understand what is what is being shown okay uh, this is pushing a card okay when you push a card that's pushed because you're um you're pushing the card away from you and then you walk you walk forward right okay that is an example of push force okay forces kids can change an object's motion in different ways as follows the first way an object changes an object changes its direction this happens when the force acts in a direction different from its moving direction for example a footballer kicks a ball away from his opponent okay okay when you play football do you play football who plays football okay when you play football and you kick the ball in a different direction for example the ball is rolling uh, rolling forward and then you kick it against against its direction so you're going to change its direction by applying force okay next one an object moves faster this happens when the force acts in the same direction as the moving object for example pushing a friend forward on a swing do you do you play swing do you play on the swing do you play on a swing okay when you're pushing your friend right okay the the, the swing is moving faster the swing is swinging faster because you push it to the same direction where it move so you're adding adding the force or that is already there okay you're increasing the force therefore it increases the speed as well okay next thing an object moves slower or comes to a stop okay this happens when the force acts opposite to the moving direction for example pulling a flying balloon okay the direction of the force in in a flying balloon is upward the the balloon is like this right and since you're pulling it you're holding it you're stopping its direction right you're stopping its direction so it's not going up already so it stops or it um it goes down okay it when it it will <laughs> it will either go up go down or stop moving okay next an object at rest starts moving this happens kids when the force acts on an object at rest making it to move for example spinning a hind windmill okay the the hand windmill like this the girl is holding it doesn't move by itself right but when you blow in it it will start spinning or when you run with it and you're holding the you're holding the the hand windmill and you're moving 
and you're moving with it, you're running, holding it, it's going to spin faster and faster. Okay? All right. So because of the force, an object at rest, an object that is not moving at first, will start moving. Okay? So that is what that is what force can do. Okay, let's review from the first part. Okay, kids. Okay, this is pull, tug of war. We have pulling a cart and also the push uh, force. The first one is the pull force and the second one is the push force. In push force, we have the playing badminton, right? Hitting a birdie is a push force. Pushing a cart is a push fo force. Okay, and what can force do? An object changes its direction. Okay, when you um, when you kick a ball in a different direction, the force that you applied can change the direction of the ball. An object moves faster. Okay, when you are playing with your friends in a in a swing and you you're pushing it again and again it adds the force in it and adds the speed also so it goes faster and faster and then an object moves slower or comes to a stop okay when you're holding a balloon that has a force that goes up up upward and you're holding it you're using the pull force and the balloon goes stop or it goes down okay Next, an object at rest starts moving when when you when you blow a windmill that is primarily not moving or primarily at rest, it then starts spinning. Okay, and then when you run with it, it goes, it spins faster. Okay, so now what we're going to do, kids? I want you to open your book to page seventy six and pick the pictures showing objects that are moving okay when this when the object is moving you will check it when it's not moving you're not going to do anything you're not going to write anything okay number one okay is it moving yes or no yes yes it is moving okay so you're going to check it on your book okay okay let's go to number two okay is it moving no it is no it isn't so we're not going to we're not going to check it okay we're not going to check it because it is not moving what about this? Yes? I go to the side computer. Huh? computer notebook I don't understand. The Batman! Batman! Ah, charger? Okay, okay. 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 Is it does it sure. show moving? Sure. Yes. Page. Uh, page. It is page 76. Okay, what about yes, number it three? Is it yes, it is. It. Yes, it is. Very good. It is showing movement. So we're going to check it on our book. What about this one? Is does it show movement? Does it show movement, kids? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good job. Ayun is very good today. Okay, next, number five. Does no, it show it movement? Is. Yes. No, it no, isn't. It is. Good job. Very good. Okay. It's not moving. Okay. Number six. Is it moving? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. So, in the movements, we show the force applied to an object or to a person. Okay, next, I want you to open your book to 78. 
Teacher Pep. Seventy eight. Seventy eight. Yes. Okay, number one. What will happen when we push the ball from rest? From rest. Okay. So what will happen? So what will happen is that the ball starts moving in the same direction it was pushed. Okay, the ball the ball at rest or the ball that is not moving when we push it it will start to move to the direction where we push it okay are you okay earth earth you okay okay Okay, when you're finished, please raise your hand or press the raise hand button. Wow, okay, some of you are finished already. Yacht, Gun, Pink, Min, Kapun and Kapan, Baibua, and Namon, 15, and Prim. They're finished already. That's quite fast. Okay, let's wait for the others and um some others bye boa green pink me okay let's wait for the others who are not finished yet lakim finished please turn on your camera so i will see if you're finished writing or not okay lakim finished Okay, she's not answering, so I think it's a yes. Okay, let's move on to number two. So number two, pushing the pushing the moving ball in the same direction it is moving. Okay, think about a ball that is already moving, and then you push it towards the direction to towards the same direction where it is moving. So what will happen? Okay, the ball will move faster. Finish! Finish! Yay! Okay, so I think everybody's finished. Finish! Very Finish. good. Okay, number three. Pushing the ball, pushing the... <laughs> pushing the moving ball toward one side. So what will happen? Pushing the moving ball toward one side. Okay, so, so the ball is already moving. It's rolling already. So... What will happen when we push it toward one side? Okay, so let's think about it. What will happen is the ball starts moving to the side it was pushed. Or we can say that the ball starts moving to another direction. It changes the direction, okay? Good job. Okay, now let's wait for the others. Finish. Finish. No finish. All right. So let's move on to number four. Pushing the moving ball in the same direction it is moving and blocking it from moving. Okay. The ball is already moving and then after that we push it towards the same direction that it is moving so what will happen after that and then after that we're going to stop it to block it from moving so what will happen okay let's see what will happen the ball moves faster and then stops when blocked so that's what will happen finish 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 okay when you're finished please raise your hand or press the raise hand button see me and it. okay let's wait for the others and it don't you come from our video oh you next kid Mila. Let's examine the real. 
Hi, you. Is everybody finished? Okay, is everybody finished? I think so. All right. Now get your pencil and write your homework. Today you only have to answer two pages, page 76 and 78, and then send a picture on the line group. Okay? So, yeah. So today we learned a very important lesson which is about the forces, the pull force and the and the push force and also about about motion, okay? So I hope that you learned something from teacher Nance today and also I hope that you enjoyed this class, okay? All right. Okay, when you're finished with writings, you can say goodbye to your friends, okay? Goodbye! Goodbye! Goodbye, everybody! Bye. See you on Monday! See you next week!